Welcome back guys, I'm Chris and today I just wanted to make a short video for those of you looking into one of these sawmills. Behind me I have the Woodland Mills HM126 and I wanted to talk to you about how their automatic lubrication system works because I see uh, questions about it come up online quite a bit so I thought I'd just do a quick walkthrough of how that works. It's pretty simple which is great for a guy like me because it means even I can understand it and that means that you probably should be able to understand it too so let's jump in and I'll show you how that works. Alright so here's your tank at the top you fill this up with lubricant there's just like this little pressure fit top on it you fill it up with your lubricant in there put the top back on now on the side of the tank you'll see right here this little hose that can is your indicator for how full the tank is so you can see right there I can tell that I'm just under half a tank currently so that's a handy little gadget for you and then your hose comes down here through this valve and then continues on down I'll walk you around to the back it's easier to see there continues on down the hose through and then comes out here and drips onto the blade. So that's basically how the system works and the path it takes to come down and get onto the blade. So how does this all work? You can see that here is your throttle and the throttle cable right here runs up inside and the official name of these is escaping me, but basically there's this black tubing that stays in place on the outside of this silver throttle metal throttle cable that can move inside of the black housing that for it so when you pull the trigger it pulls the metal throttle cable towards you and then I'll show you what it does up top here so when you pull on the throttle cable you can see it come out up here Here's your throttle, it pulls this, and more importantly for the lubrication system, it depresses this little metal plate here. And when the metal plate depresses, it depresses this little silver button in here, which opens the valve in here. So that's what allows the water to get from up here in the tank down through and then from there it can go all the way down and come out onto the blade. So that's basically how the automatic part of it works. Um, like I was saying, it's a really simple concept, simple idea and uh, that's why I like it. And um, so that's just kind of one thing to keep in mind too if you're having uh, trouble with the system that could be one thing to look at is to come up here and just make sure that when you are pulling the throttle that this is set up in a way that it is depressing this button that which opens the valve and lets the water down so this uh, black plate is adjustable so that uh, you know it, if in a rare circumstance this didn't come set up right from the factory you might be pulling the throttle and maybe it's not depressing this which means this valve would never open which means the next step I'm going to get to is how to adjust the flow rate which means like it wouldn't matter what you did here it would it would never let any of the lubricant through if your throttle is not depressing this here so just something to think about all right so as long as all that's set up right uh, you can come up here and I'll bring you in close this here is going to be your main adjustment for the flow rate of the lubricant and I'll show you how this works there's basically a, two things you can unscrew here I'm not good with technical names but basically you have to loosen the top part and then the bottom part is how you can adjust the flow rate. So if I unscrew this a lot, that is opening up the flow rate a lot. So 
that should be making it just pour out now. And then you want to tighten this top part and that kind of holds it back into place. And then I'll take it around. I'll press the uh, throttle because it's all gravity fed, which means that the engine doesn't have to be running or anything like that. If I just pull the throttle down right now, I should have lubricant just pouring out onto the blade basically. So I'll take you around. I'll get you in the best spot I can here and I'll press the trigger and as you can see, it's just pouring out there, which is uh, like a pretty ridiculous rate of speed. Like, I don't think you would ever want it coming out that fast. Of course, uh, I'm not an expert, like I say all the time, and I'm just used to the trees that I saw here on the farm, so I would never need it anywhere close to coming out like that. Um, I'm, In fact, that might actually cause your uh, blade to hydroplane with so much lubricant on it so i'm gonna go back try to adjust this to come out a lot slower and show you what that looks like so basically i'm starting from square one here again so i know that i want to go way in so let's go way in to something like that let's see how that looks now and I can see it's kind of slowly coming out which brings me to the problem that a lot of people have including me I shouldn't say it's a problem but it's kind of an issue um, that a lot of people like to improve upon and as you could see there the spot where the lubricant comes out of it doesn't actually to get it set low enough so that it's just a slow drip it won't drip out onto the blade it will drip out kind of just in here somewhere and then run down the face and it still gets the blade wet but it's kind of hard to see exactly if you have the right rate or not um, which is kind of an issue a lot of people have so I've seen a lot of people come up with their own fixes I should probably do that too but uh, for right now just to show you um, I actually broke off a pen cap and it seems to kind of work just for display purposes so I'm gonna throw that on there and show you all right guys so you can kind of see my little temporary display pen cap there um, that's kind of the idea that a lot of people I've seen do, and I think it's a good idea. Um, now, you'd probably want to use, like, a proper sized fitting hose, like the same kind of hose this is, and not have it stick out so far, because, you know, you might run into an issue where you need the wood you're cutting to pass through here. Um, and then maybe, have yeah, like, have a flexible hose so it could bend out of the way if you ever do hit it or something but uh having said that i just stuck that pen cap on there to get the water to come out so you can see the actual rate of drip so i haven't adjusted anything again yet so i'll just depress the throttle and it'll probably take a second for the uh pen cap to you know fill up a little bit with the liquid here but I'm assuming any second we'll start getting a little bit of a drip going on. Alright guys, so it took a little bit, but the pen's full with lubricant now. So I'm going to press the trigger down and just show you kind of, it's at a really slow drip right now. So that's you know borderline okay but um depending what kind of wood you're doing i'll like maybe come back up to the top here and i'll show you i'll just adjust it out just like a little bit like that i 
and come back down and you know see see what happens press the trigger and got a bit of a faster drip going on now so that might be like something like you'd want to do if you're into a really gummy sappy dirty log that you know the blade's not uh staying clean on you so i'm kind of just showing you how you can adjust that and set the rate of drip a bit faster um unfortunately i can't tell you exactly how fast to set the drip because all the different types of wood that you might be cutting require a different drip speed and it also depends on what kind of lubricant you're using so um, there's a few different things you can do like if you're into something really gummy and you find your blade is staying uh, dirty or getting stuff on it as you're cutting you could speed up the drip you don't want to go too overboard like at the start there where it's just pouring out but uh, another thing you can do that I've seen in a lot of places is add a bit of a cleaning agent to your water so dish soap works good I've also heard of people using pine saw I haven't used that but you know just throwing out different suggestions of different ways to help keep your blade clean and cool as you're cutting through the wood that's what it's all about so anyways guys I'm not going to ramble on too long about this um, I know it's kind of a shorter video but um, I see a lot of people talking about it online so I just thought I'd do kind of like a brief overview show you how it works show you how you can adjust it and um, yeah I think that's going to be about everything for me today I really appreciate you watching thanks a lot and I'll see you next time